a very warm welcome to all of you and uh, to Dr. Ma'am uh, in this series of Doctors Speak with Nature Fit. Nature Fit is an Ayush platform where we can be Ayush practitioners and doctors. Here you can buy all Ayush products and there are many health tools that you can do your health analysis. Kar sakte uh, Nature Fit is on a mission to take the Nature Fit is on a mission to take the Indian system of healing not only into Pan-India but globally as well. और उसी सीरीज में जो हमारा डॉक्टर स्पीक सीरीज है हम हर हफ्ते कुछ डॉक्टर्स जो हमारे साथ ऑलरेडी जुड़े हुए हैं उनके साथ हम लोग एक हेल्थ टॉपिक एक हेल्थ कंसर्न लेते हैं और देखते हैं कि कैसे आयुर्वेदा और द इंडियन सिस्टम ऑफ मेडिसिन इज एक्चुअली हेल्पिंग मिरैकुलसली इन हीलिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर डिजीज उसी चर्चा में आज हम हैं डॉक्टर माधवी बोरकर के साथ Welcome to this series, ma'am. Welcome to the session today. Uh, Dr. Madhavi Borkar is an Ayurvedic doctor as well as certified level 2 yoga teacher in Goa and has 22 years of experience in, in, experience in practicing Ayurveda. Dr. Madhavi practices at Ayur Yoga in Borda, Mar Goa, Goa. And today we are going to talk to you with Ayurvedic Remedies for Pain Management. So very warm welcome, ma'am, uh, and uh, to this session. And today we are connected to you to understand how it is said that pain management requires an immediate kind of a, you know, solution. So how is it that Ayurveda is becoming uh, you know, more and more beneficial? And uh, you know, we, we need to uh, remove that myth from our mind that pain management may be a lot of time, or the Ayurveda remedies are a lot of time. I am sure there are many things in Ayurveda which can also give immediate relief and long term relief uh, through in pain management. So, in this question, what is the question? What are the types, common types of pain that people experience and what are the, some of the underlying causes? Basically, the patients come for pain management to Ayurveda doctor. It depends upon the cause of the pain, exactly. Pain management is of two types. The people will come, youngsters will come with a different type of pain and elderly people will come with different type of pains. And when it comes to youngsters, it is mostly the sports injury or any external cause then the cause from within the body like in elderly patients we have mostly the degenerated pains musculoskeletal pains joint pain knee joint pain back pain neck pain is tarah ke pains jada rehte hain aged patient mein aur youngster mein mostly it is the repetitive movement pain like the desktop job karne wale jo hote hain unka fingers mein pain rehta hai wrist mein pain rehta hai elbow tennis elbow rehti hai frozen shoulder rehta hai. These are the patients who fall into younger groups. And the cause could be inflammatory or degenerative. Inflammatory matlab sujan rehti hai udar. Aur jo degenerative pain rehti hai, udar care it is because of wear and tear of the body. Like ek hi part jada istamal karne se pain ho jata hai, udar thodi gisan ho jati hai. That is a wearing and tearing of those part of the body like ka, ka tear ho jata hai. Worn out ho jati hai. Is tarah ke causes mein treatment alag rahegi. Aur jo inflammatory rahegi, udhar treatment alag rahegi. It's totally different. Okay. So again, I think the best thing about Ayurveda is ki pehle samajna ki wo pain kyu ho rahi hai. Exactly. And that is the that is why the treatment chahe wo thoda time bhi le, but wo permanent hota hai because you handle the cause of the actual disease. Yeah. Can Ayurveda help with both acute and chronic pain conditions? Yes, ma'am. Uh, acute case, again, the cause will be different and chronic also the cause will be different. Sometimes we have patients who are chronic patients, but they suddenly get that acute pain. Those same patients with chronic pain, they get suddenly, there will be swelling in the pain. They already have the pain and there will be swelling and again the pain. And that pain is very severe. So how we deal with it also differs. In acute pains, we used Vidha, Karma and Agni Karma. They are the best treatments when patients have acute pains. And along with that, we do some therapies like 
पत्र पिंड स्वेद एंड जम्पिंड स्वेद विच आर हेल्पिंग द पेशंट टूगेदर विथ विद्या कर्मा अग्नि कर्मा एंड so it helps in both the in chronic patients we have different therapies like kati basti griva basti janu basti these are the treatments the therapies panchakarma therapies or we give those help in a better way even in the acute patients also we do some dharas uh, like kanji dharas or other kada kada dharas which even reduces the swelling immediately the other type immediate relief giving me jo rahega wo प्रलेप रहेगा लेप रहेगा इफ अ पेशेंट हैज अ सीवियर पेन एंड स्वेलिंग देन वी पुट सम लेप्स ऑन दैट अप्लाई सम पेस्ट ऑन द पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी रैप इट इट सम बैंडेजेस और लिम्स एंड लीव इट ओवर नाइट एंड नेक्स्ट डे द पेन विल बी एब्सोल्युटली नॉट देयर मिरेकुलस रिजल्ट्स वी गेट इन पेशेंट्स इवन इन एक्यूट पेशेंट दिस आई वुड लाइक टू स्पेसिफाई बिकॉज़ there is a lot of misconception right. and that's the reason i want to tell even ayurveda can give very good result in acute pains also okay and these treatments work better than the pain killers right great so i think wohi hamara uh, you know uh, motive hai ki logo ko pata yeah. chale ki wa- there right. is uh, these methods which are actually more uh, you know helpful as well and pain killer will work off on the symptom for some time again it will reoccur but here you are taking care of subsiding the swelling there is something you know uh, working on the inner part of the muscles as well uh, with the help of the leaps that yeah. you have so that's really nice to know that ayurveda can take care of both acute and chronic pain conditions and there are different treatments for each of them yeah can you explain the concept of doshas in ayurveda and their role in pain management <laughs> basically there are three types of doshas uh, like vata dosha pitta dosha and kapha dosha and the imbalance of these doshas itself is a disease and when you bring back the doshas to the normal in a balanced way that itself is the uh, health or what is every patient what we try to do is bringing back the balance of doshas and especially when it comes to pain there cannot be pain without vata dosha when every pain vata dosha is in so first priority would be treat the vata dosha and reduce the pain first that's very okay. important right. okay so definitely you are saying and uh, if my prakriti is uh, is different is there a different way you manage the patient also yeah yeah Yeah. yeah what exactly happens is every patient prakriti the medicines will differ from yes, person sir. to person if i have a patient of pitta dosha i will not be giving the same medicine even though they have the same pain right even though the patient is having if i have three patients of vata dosha if i have uh, three patients of knee joint pain and the prakriti of the patient one patient is vata dosha other patient is uh, vata pitta and other patient is kapha vata then my prescription will be different for all the three patients all three right right although they are suffering from the knee joint pain only right because if i am giving some more uh, heat producing medicine in pitta dosha that will lead to some other problem so right. every time assessing a patient's prakriti and then the vikruti vikruti means what the disease he has both the things are important before prescribing a yeah so i think that's again one of the most beautiful concepts in ayurveda where aapka customized uh, you know medication yeah. for everybody yeah. first yeah. understanding yeah. not only the cause of the pain but also understanding the prakriti of the patient and then yeah. combining the two to give a complete customized mm-hmm. uh, medication yeah. and treatment so i think that is the reason why it works because uh, you know yeah. it's like one thing cannot work for everybody that's the yeah. way it is and that's why yeah. i think it is uh, you know becoming more and more successful now are there any lifestyle modifications or practices that ayurveda recommends for preventing pain yeah uh, there are many things which we recommend as lifestyle changes basically first and the foremost would be the balance of circadian rhythms like you know dinacharya and ruducharya at what time to sleep at what time how you carry yourself throughout the day even not only the day and night even according to the seasons also we have different modifications in our lifestyle by which the pain can be 
reduced or a person a recurrence of the pain can be reduced if you follow the simple vectors that is a part of it and out of that basically what i would advise is uh, first thing is the abhyanga what we say abhyanga is something you know massaging the with oil that is helping a lot that is considered as a part of dinacharya in all the patients of pain chronic pains especially when there is no ama then that massaging abhyanga it helps a lot to prevent the pain and to prevent degeneration of the joints also as well as skin also so this helps a lot right. so every one we can do it if not every day at least once a week like sunday we get time at that time at least we can do abhyanga once in a while once in a week to prevent mm -hmm. for the pain center right so definitely you know there are a lot of things that small small things if we are adding yeah. up in our lifestyle uh, we can ensure that wo uh, you know a chronic pain may nahi convert ho jaye agar kahin start bhi hota hai and we try to you know kind of manage it with uh, small uh, uh, you know uh, practices yeah. like massage therapy or uh, yoga so hamare body will already be you know lubricated will be taken care of yeah. Right? Yeah. So, you know, and I think ये जो दिनचर्या है और ये जो ऋतुचर्या है आयुर्वेदा का अगेन इट्स अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल कॉन्सेप्ट विच हैज बीन यू नो विच आई फील जैसे स्कूल में पढ़ाना चाहिए बच्चों को कि ये ही बेसिक चीजें हैं जो आपको करनी चाहिए सो वेरी नाइस वट आर सम सेल्फ केयर प्रैक्टिस दैट इंडिविजुअल्स कैन इनकॉर्पोरेट इन टू देयर डेली रूटीन टू हेल्प मैनेज देयर पेन self care practices can be again uh, again what we have to do is uh, basic concept is see when we are uh, there is called a concept called vega na dharana like when uh, natural urges are there like uh, we get the urge to pass urine pass platters pass motion we are so engrossed in our other activities that these urges come and go we don't even bother to you know attend to it that be timely attending to the urges is one of the foremost concept of ayurveda whenever you are feeling some urge you have to immediately go and pass because if that is not done routinely when that is practiced it leads to some other diseases and the root cause could be this one that controlling the urges natural urges that is one thing i would say we have to attend to it regularly and uh, properly as and when it comes that's one thing and very simple thing is the diet diet according to a person's suitability again the prakriti concept comes even slight modification in the diet can lead to lot of improvement in health second concept third is very simple thing is about the uh, nasya what we do nasya is just putting two or three drops of ghee or a medicated oil into the nose but that simple thing also have got tremendous effect when it comes to health especially the sh shoulders neck movements or eye diseases even hair problems cervical spondylitis even these routine things can make a lot patient jo patient ka jo asar aata hai na effect aata hai positive effect that will be tremendous when we add this simple thing into their routine uh, jo lifestyle mein add kiya to bahut farak aa jayega that's what we are practicing now right so you know small small things but yeah. can make a huge difference here yeah. yes yeah. any real case uh, scenario like your pay about your patient that you would uh, you know like to share uh, regarding how ayurveda has helped the patient get relieved of you know either pain or any chronic disease yeah yeah actually routinely we treat many patients especially of uh, these lumbar spondylitis like back aches hip pains sciatica these are the routine patients which we treat with tremendous good result and the effect on the patient is like you know it's on throughout their life because some patients they get it at around uh, when they are just 40 in working age group so then it becomes very difficult for them to you know there's a long life ahead work life ahead so i had some patients who had come with me with severe sleep disc problem and sciatica together so what happened is that uh, lady came with, uh, to me she was in such a condition sit she could not stand erect she was bending on one side and i made her lie down we did that vidya and agni karma on her we did kati basti one treatment is there 
that was the treatment and within 45 minutes of the treatment she was feeling 50% even in that acute condition i think amazing amazing to hear the you know success ratio that uh, you have yeah. and uh, yeah. you know the best thing about what i feel when uh, any ayurveda doctor treats a patient wo sirf unka us wo bimari hi nahi theek karta but unko pure life ek acche tarah jeene ke jo lifestyle modifications and wo sab hota hai wo sab aap unko pure life ke liye de dete hain so it is not just treating that particular ailment for just that particular time because that is personally happened with me that ayurveda gave me a you know ayurveda and yoga give me a complete change in the lifestyle the way i was leading before just small changes like ch- change in the eating timing change in the yes. according to the khana hai wo sab cheeze change karne se bahut kuch uh, to i i really feel that you know it is amazing if anybody who is listening and having any kind of uh, the disease they should definitely try ayurveda once you know it is no harm in trying as ma'am said ki a 70% 80% 90% of the times you will get uh, the results uh, and much better and with lesser complications and uh, you know tearing yeah. apart your body in surgery yeah so great so thank you so much ma'am it was really nice knowing uh, you know that how ayurveda can also work wonders in pain management Uh, which you know people always thought ki nahi hame f- ekdam instant hame pain ko dabana hai but i think uh, ayurveda can do wonders and uh, for people who are listening they can consult dr madhvi uh, the description in the description her profile link is shared you can contact her and you can also benefit people in goa can directly visit her at her clinic and people at other places can consult her online so thank you so much for everybody to everybody and thank you ma'am for joining us and we will keep coming back for such more sessions thank you so much bye take care